the dream is relatively universal. Some people vary, but for most of us, we close our eyes and we see ourselves with the supermodel level chick, couple kids, maybe boy, girl, whatever, white picket fence house, whatever, the dog, the Escalade, the muscles, the gun collection. But I think if you were to ask any guy, like what out of all of that does he value the most? Most guys are going to say it's the woman. Or if you think about it, even if they don't say it directly, the reason why they want all that other stuff, the muscles or the car or whatever, is because they want to attract that girl. Even though as men, we have to put our purpose first, so much of what we do in life is because we want that hot girl by our side. Now, you've probably heard it said elsewhere that, you know, most women just kind of want the top tier of men. Like, no woman wants... It's, it's actually almost like sacrilegious for a woman to settle for a guy like guys settle for women all the time but for a woman to settle for a man she's going to be bitter for the rest of her life it's almost sacrilegious for her to do that so women want you know the top you know x percent of dudes so how are you going to get this universal dream how are you going to accomplish you know the supermodel level chick by your side or you know your equivalent of the dream right how are you going to get that if all women want the same 10 percent of guys Okay? If you're not looking around and saying, hey, what guys you know are impressive? And, and you can't validate what is impressive about that man, how are you ever going to be able to replicate it or basically be, be able to fill in the blanks of what you're missing with what some of the other men in society actually have? This is why we join groups, right? Because as, as we get around other men, you know, there's a, a standard of excellence that gets set in order to be part of the group. But also we can learn from other men and the things that they're doing so that way we can copy what they're doing and that way we can stay in that 10% bracket instead of falling into mediocrity. Mating is serious business, even though that's a funny thing to say. It really is. You're passing on the genes. We're talking about survival. We're talking about fierce competition. This is life or death, believe it or not, because your genes die out with you if you don't pass them on. And we all want the best place to pass them on to, whether we're thinking about this consciously or this is just a subconscious thing that happens, you know, in our brains. We all want the most attractive women as our mate. So you better be ready to compete. You can have your ego and say, oh, well, I'm not competing with anybody. But you are, man. Whether you entered the race or not, you're still in it.